Yup. What's up? Taxstar. SGC 598. Got a dead cat on it. Not an actual cat. No worries. It's just a name. It's a windscreen. Fluffy. Furry. No dead cats. Okay. So we're going to test this out. Right now, we're in, obviously, we're in a, my studio. And uh, we're just going to walk outside. And uh, hopefully there's a little bit of wind so we can actually test this thing out properly. Oh, by the way, new rig. Got a uh, cheap Gorilla Pod. Testing it out at the same time. Let's uh, take a walk downstairs, shall we? Get this door locked here. Yeah, so that's what it is. We got noise all around. We're gonna test how quick this is. All right. I don't know how far away this is, but it should be good. Well, that's good because I got a lot of noise. Cars driving by and such and so forth. So I think we're good. Yeah, we're here. It's not too bad. It's a little heavy. D750. I got a 2470 2.8 on it. I might not need all that. But uh, should be good. All right. So that was inside. Now I got to drive, so I'll be back. Okay, guys. It's a pretty good test for the wind. So I'm going to do two things. Number one, first and foremost, I'm going to be walking I'm gonna be talking now the winds going and uh, we're gonna test that and then I'm just gonna walk a little bit without talking so we have no voice and we'll check that all right guys so quiet Shh. no talking Ooh. okay I'm gonna talk now because that's that was some nice wind we're gonna test all right so, StarTac SGC598, $37 Canadian, it's the initial test, I get a decent amount of wind here, hopefully there's not too much backlight, oh there might be, is that better, yeah, could be, alright, so, Okay guys, auto ISO, we're checking this out. I know I spoke about this a couple of times, but, uh, well, I guess we're walking upstairs today, guys. So like I said, auto ISO, check in from a nice dim place. Now really dark. And, Ooh, these lovely things. It's still kind of dark in here. Now we're going. Starting to get a little brighter. Headed towards the door. I'm walk it right outside. I have a very good idea how well it works from in here. Well, I'm surprised nobody t told me to stop filming in here yet same time makes that uh, plus 10 db boost the true test auto iso yep i'm still here all right there we go there it is guys nice oh i'm out okay guys so Aside from the auto ISO D750, testing out the mic. Right now it's at plus 10 dB. I'm going to put it down. Just check the difference. So we're just talking normally here. All right. And back up 10. All right. So now we can test the difference. All right. 
So this is pretty much the the walk I take every day to come to work. It's pretty nice. Park over there. Church behind me. Alright. Church. Park. Work up ahead. Tall buildings. Lots of tall buildings. Now I have a vocal changer on this mic. I'm gonna switch it off. I'm just gonna talk from now. And the next time you hear me, that should be a slightly different. Also testing the noise and the wind. Windscreen looks pretty good. Cool, I'm gonna put it back up. That's done. Tall buildings. Nice. Here, let me show you. Tall buildings. Sweet. Just doing a quick check. High ISO. It's the auto ISO. Checking the mic at night here. I'm walking through the park. So guys, uh, I'm about arm length away. That's about what two and a half, three feet maybe max. So two, not even, probably two feet. I'm short. All right. So let's check this out. All right. I'll move around. Check the statue and behind. We're gonna check. All right. That should be good. All right, guys. Later. Okay. Let's test this out. So, we're testing out this pretty snows. Look at the snows. Isn't this pretty? I hate the snows. Just saying, don't want the snows here. So we're testing out the mic and the auto ISO. It's a nice bright light here. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get some kind of lighting here anyway. I'm sure you can see the snow. Look at the snow. We're going to go way up. Look. Snow. Snows. We don't like the snows. But they're pretty. <laughs> okay. So. We're going. The rest of the walk to the car. So it should be a little bit. Actually bumpy. Probably because it's kind of heavy now. So. I'm switching over and I'm going to turn again using the auto ISO and the mic. There's some uh, noise in the background actually, we'll test that too. So I'm going to turn here to my car and using the auto ISO, we're going to see how dark it is because there's no lights over in this corner. There's a little bit of light falling in, but really no lights at all. So we're testing this out and I'm also going to test the minus 10 dB. We're going to put that back to normal. All right, here we go. So minus 10 dB is put back down. I want to see if that, what kind of difference that makes for the noise in the background. So I can hear the cars, I can hear constant on a highway bridge right over here. So lots of noise in the background. So this is normal, this is at zero dB. I'm gonna put it back to minus 10 now. I'm gonna test the sound. Uh, just to hear what we what we hear, the overlap of sound that we hear from the highway. I want to see how different it is. I'm going to put it back now. Okay. Okay. So now it's back. We should hear a difference. A significant difference in my opinion. And I'll uh, check that inside. Okay, well look guys. I don't even know if you can see me. I don't know how dark it is. Here's hoping you can actually see me. And uh, if not, well, you know. I'm just a scary voice in the dark. Later guys. Okay guys. So here I am. Basically testing out anything I can get my hands on. Alright. So first thing I was testing out. Tackstar SGC 598. And of course this uh, furry windscreen. Uh, the only thing that's missing in my opinion would be the auto on and off 
but let's be reasonable. They're AA batteries. One battery in here. I've been testing this on and off for a week or so now. And it's the same battery. It's a rechargeable battery. This thing's gonna last forever. Just have a couple of batteries on you just in case it dies. If it dies, and uh, there's a green light. Okay, so if you don't see that green light, you just gotta check on it once in a while. I understand it's not ideal, it's not what we want. Uh, we want auto on and off, but you know what? This thing cost me 37 Canadian dollars. And uh, the last time I checked, the uh, microphone that has the auto on and off, that would be the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Uh, in the stores here, at a local store, $379 Canadian plus tax, making it 11 times the price of this microphone. Now, is the Video Mic Pro Plus a better microphone? Yes. There's no doubt about it. Is it a better microphone? Yes. Is it worth 11 times as much as this, not even close. Not even close. Uh, test it against the video, uh, the Rode microphone, the Video uh, Mic Pro Plus. Is this actually better from the sides? Which is surprising because the Rode is not supposed to be, it's, that's not supposed to be the Rode's weakness. It's supposed to be better, but it isn't. And from the back, while well, the road is better. From the front, from the front, the road is better, uh, but not that much better. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize, road. Hey, I love road mics. I have a road mic. Actually, I have several road mics, but that's a whole different story. But this is thirty-seven dollars. Taxstar SGC five ninety-eight. Go out and get one. Now this fur, I got it actually on uh, eBay. It was seven dollars Canadian shipped to my door. And these two together, and you can see clearly in the video, the wind, you can't hear it. You, you can't hear the wind. And it was very windy that day. Uh, on the way back, actually, the last video that you've seen, when I was coming out of there, you've seen my hair blowing in the wind. It was windy. We didn't hear one spot of wind with this. This is a fantastic mic, highly recommended. That's the first thing I was testing. Second thing I was testing was the auto ISO feature on my Nikon D750. That's also the same auto ISO available on the D810. It's exactly the same. And of course, later models and more than likely the D5 and the, you know, uh, all these uh, um, and the faster processors, obviously, on the D5 and the D850 are going to do an even better job. But I can tell you, and you should, you've seen the video. That, that's solid proof. I walked in, there was at one point where I said, it's dark in here. Uh, it was very dark. It was very dark in there compared to even the hallway. Uh, uh, and, and walking towards the hallway was a little bit brighter. But then when we got outside, be beautiful, bright, sunny day, blue skies, so a ton of light. And the auto ISO followed it from A to Z and just so. Now, First thing you can think, fantastic Rodney, I'm going to run out and put my camera on auto ISO and never go back. It's not what I mean, don't misunderstand me, auto ISO is amazing and it's a tool. It's not a place where you live, it's a tool and that tool is amazing. I mean, I'll give you an example, I did the, uh, the pride parade here uh, in the summer. And I was going in and out of shadow. The buildings were casting huge shadows. Very tall buildings, obviously. You've seen that as well here in Montreal. And they were casting these huge shadows. I'd be going in and out of the shadows. And a lot of the time I was just going back and forth, uh, changing either the ISO, changing my shutter speed, changing whatever. But of those 800 shots, I easily, I would say, easily probably 50 or so, or so shots were a complete waste, waste to me. I can recover them in Lightroom, but if I, to me, if it's not exposed properly in the camera, we, we've we've made a we've wasted it. 
we've wasted it. We've wasted its potential. So that auto ISO, from what I've tested so far in video, amazing. If I'm vlogging, I'm auto ISO all the way now. No, no way I'm going anywhere near anything else but auto ISO. I love it. If you're in a much more controlled uh, situation where you can control everything, then do not do auto ISO. Do the best ISO possible, the lowest ISO possible. And now, if you're in uh, variable situations like sun is going in and out of the clouds, or if you're if you're wanting to be moving your shutter speed quickly from one to the other, you want something. You want to freeze action, and then in the next minute, well, you know what? You want to slide it down. Pardon me. You want to slide it down and and uh, get a little bit of motion, panning, or something like that. You need absolutely to have that auto ISO function. In these days, the ISO is not. I mean. Don't misunderstand me, the ISO, the ISO is important, but the ISO is not that important. You can go up to 3200 easily on most cameras. And on the, my D750, I've gone up 6400 in video and in photography, and I have no problems. I have no issues with it. Beautiful, beautiful results at that ISO. So the auto ISO it is a, a fantastic tool. The last thing I did test, I did pick up and I did mention it in the video. I picked up, uh, it was actually, a, it's a cheap Gorilla Pod basically. So, a couple of things. Uh, number one, I mean, for the most part, it worked, except for one little detail here. If you'll notice, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this properly, but there's no screw there. So, the screw is actually comes out and just can pretty much just fall out. So that, that's kind of not, not great, number one. Uh, number two, when I, uh, when I screw this on to the tripod on the bottom, it's actually just slightly too long and it actually moves a little bit. So when I was, so when I was holding it up like this, it worked and it held, but the camera would move. So it's cheap. Now this thing cost me, it was, uh, with a tax and everything, it was $15 Canadian. So it's really nothing. It doesn't cost anything. But the problem is here. And, oh, there's one other problem. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not putting my $2,000 camera on this. Pretty simple. All right, guys. Um, that's it. That's that's pretty much about it. If I missed anything we tested, hey, mention it below. If you liked the video and if it helped you out, uh, you know, click the like button. Do uh, I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, I get to do more of these. I, I'm really having a good time. And uh, thank you so much for all the views. You guys are super, super great. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you want more. I want to see more of this content. And. Uh, See you soon. Take it easy.